other than degrees, another way that we can measure the distance or measure of an angle is with this idea called a radian. Now, what a radian basically is, is imagine I have a circle with two rays inscribed in that circle, one that's in that standard position and some other extended ray. Well, the distance that this arc travels, if that distance is the same distance as the radius, we would call that a radian. And in this particular case, I would say the measure of this angle is one radian because the arc that's described by these two angles is the same distance as the angle, as, as the radius is. And so that's how we get the word radian. We can also have circles that have multiple radians, obviously. So if we drew another circle, drew another line, about there maybe, and that whole measure, if I measured at theta, that looks like that's two radians, one radian here and the second radian there, so that an entire sweep, sweep of that arc would be measured in radians. In this particular case, that measure would be two radians. Now let's give us a general definition of how we can describe a radian measure. So let's imagine we have a circle. with some angle inscribed in that circle. And if that was in the middle, both of those would be radiuses right there. So just to def give a definition of that. And then this sweep right here, this arc, which we usually designate as S. And then the angle that that produces, some theta. So again, just some just variable labeling. All I'm doing right now is doing some labeling right now. Why well, I would describe then that this measure of theta equals the distance of the arc divided by theta, or sorry, not by theta, um, but by r. Why did I put r in there? Let's write that a little bit better, folks. Theta equals s divided by r, and that would produce, oh sorry, and that's in radians. So our measurement of theta, if we're using radians, we basically are taking the ratio of the arc that's created, dividing that by a radius. We can see this one over here. I had two radians. Two r's is the distance from here all the way over there, that's two r. Divide that by the radius, which is r, and that produces just a two. And I would say the measure of this particular angle from the, to the orange would be a measure of two radians. So that's our definition that we'll use when dealing with radians and its measurements. Again, it's the ratio or the arc to, described around the circle divided by the radius gives our definition of how to find the angle or describe the measurement of that angle in radians. So let's look at an example of how we would use this. So imagine that I had a circle, I'll use this circle as my example, where the distance that the arc that was created was measured as 15 inches. And its radius of the circle is six inches. So what would I say is its measure of the, or the measurement of that particular angle. Well, if I look at the theta, theta is described as the distance the arc is created, which is 15 inches, and a ratio of its radius, which is six inches. Reduce that down. You'll notice one, the inches cancel. There's inches on top, inches on bottom, so inches cancel, and 15 divided by six is 2.5. And you might see some authors and some different people describe this as 2.5 radians. But that's usually just for emphasis. The measurement is 2.5 because we understand that the context is in radians. We're not going to confuse this with 2.5 degrees. We'll usually put the little circle there to start describe degrees. But in radians, we'll either write it as 2.5 radians or just simply 2.5. And by the context, we understand that measurement was in radians.